Hey everybody, these are uh, just two questions that I forgot to add on to um, the lesson. So I just want to do them because they're going to be on the worksheet for homework tonight. Find the measures of two supplementary angles. If one angle is 18 more than the other, find both angles. Find the measures of two supplementary angles if one angle is 18 more than the other. So again, we know that if you're supplementary, you add to 180. So you have like angle one and angle two here. So what you can do is you can actually assign them a letter. You should remember this from Algebra 1. You can say, okay, so I'm going to call angle 1 X, and then I'm going to call it angle 2 its supplement. So let's think about that. If this was 10 degrees, this would be 170. If this was 20 degrees, this would be... 160, what am I doing? I'm taking X and I'm taking it away from 180. So you always give one of them X and the other one 180 minus X if it's supplementary. Now let's read this last part here. Find the measures of two supplementary angles if one angle, so it doesn't matter which one you call it, I'll say X is equals 18 more than the other, 18 more than that guy. How do you write that? Well, 180 minus X is the other angle and you want 18 more than that. And so now combine your like terms and uh, just make it a problem that you know from algebra. So 180 plus 18 would be 198, add two X over, so 198 divided by 2 is 99. So X is 99. How then what would this angle be? Well, what's 180 minus 99? That would be 81. Of course, I drew them differently up here on the picture, but it doesn't matter because it would be the same either way. One angle would be 99, the other one would be 81, and they are supplement to each other. Let's do another one. Two angles are complementary. The measure of one angle is 21 more than twice the measure of the other. Find the angles. So to be complementary, you make 90 degrees. Here's angle one, here's angle two. They're making 90. So again, do exactly what I just did up there. Let's call angle one X. Let's call angle two. It's complement 90 minus X. So now we write an equation. The measure of one angle, so we'll say X is equals 21 more than twice the measure of the other. 21 more than twice the other. 21 more than twice the other guy, which was 90 minus X. And now solve it. X equals 180 minus 2X plus 21. 180 and 21 make 201 minus 2X. Add 2x over, you get 3x equals 2, 1, and divide by 3. So x is 67, then the other angle must be 23 degrees. And that's how you solve them, very easy.